You have an interest in this, whether you like it or not. You signed a contract to deliver the platinum chip to me. Now, I could stop you from leaving, but what would that accomplish? If you want to go, go. See what the strip I built, the strip I own, has to offer. Think about what I could offer you. I expect we'll have occasion to talk again. You are the first person to step foot inside the Lucky 38 in over 200 years. It was not an invitation I made lightly. We have a serious matter to discuss concerning a contract you have yet to fulfill. Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Then Vegas shall be lost, and with it, mankind's best hope for long-term survival. We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it, and I paid for it, dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of U.S. dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for them. That's simply not true. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determined the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. Frontal assaults on casinos? Not good for business. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. In any case, Benny would see it coming, and all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. As I said before, Benny's fate is yours to decide. Once you've delivered the chip... I will pay you the amount agreed upon. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy... But in any case, you've come along, a more than suitable replacement. To your untrained eyes, it may look as though mankind is making a comeback. In the NCR, you have something that resembles a nation-state. Savage as it is, in Caesar's Legion, you have an organized society. But neither of these offer a future. They're regurgitations of the past. Bring me the platinum chip. 
And in ten years, you'll hardly recognize this city. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. It's a facility I built many years before you were born. You might think of it as a barracks. You'll understand soon enough. I like to think you have enough sense to do the right thing. The rewards for doing so are immense, as are the punishments for not doing so. I don't respond well to threats. Now, where were we? The bunker will be destroyed, and you'll die instantly. Fine, you'll receive a nice bonus when the work is done. And speaking of getting it done, was that meant to be a shocking revelation? Of course Caesar wants it destroyed. He's afraid of what the bunker might hold, and rightly so. But you're not going to do that. You're going to do the smart thing, and work for me. I must insist that you stay long enough for me to show you that the platinum chip does more than change the pictures on the Securitron's face screens. Events of great import are about to unfold, with you taking a central role. To get started, all you need do is take the elevator all the way down. Surely you know that I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. I've spent too many years waiting for this moment to see it fumbled by an insubordinate contractor. I can't reach through this monitor and compel you to follow instructions, but know this. If you disappoint me, you will pay for it. My army will do what an army does best, defend territory from invaders and maintain order. A great deal shall be happening, a cascade of events with you taking a central role. At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. What you see there will help you understand the significance of what you accomplished at the fort. The same equipment failure that prevents me from remotely operating this facility seems to have activated its security robots and turrets. There's a security room near the base of the stairs. Perhaps you can deactivate them yourself. <sighs> it is obvious to you that I built this place. The platinum chip opened it, after all. In any case, you're here, so let's get to it. You signed a contract to deliver the platinum chip, and you'll be paid when the delivery is made. Goodbye? Is that some kind of joke? You barely understand what I want you to accomplish down there. Are you a child? The platinum chip was taken from you, obviously. So what are you doing here? Return to the fort at once. Recover the platinum chip. Once you've entered the bunker hidden beneath the weather station, you'll receive further instructions. Listen to me very carefully. I've waited too long for this moment for you to go fouling it up on a lark. Do as I say, and your rewards will be immense. Thwart me, and your punishment will become the purpose of my existence. It's a facility I built many years before you were born. You might think of it as a kind of barracks. You'll understand soon enough. I see. You're in a predicament. Just off the turbine room down below are three power regulators. It's a redundant system. Only one is needed. Go ahead and destroy one. The explosion will be large enough to be heard and felt above ground. Good. I won't hold you up any longer. Then there will be no safe haven for you. Yes, so far as you've seen, all it does is change the picture on the Securitron's face screens from policemen to soldiers. But as you'll see, hence Caesar wants you to destroy whatever you find in this bunker. <sighs> the platinum chip unlocks this bunker. Hence you have it. Hence Benny was captured or killed, possibly by you, but by my estimates far more probably by Caesar's legion. Hence, Caesar gave you the chip. <sighs> that you were searched very thoroughly when you arrived at the fort is a certainty. And as the chip is a little too large to be secreted away, I also regard it a certainty that the chip was discovered, taken from you, and given to Caesar, who returned it to you. 
Two plus two equaling four, Caesar wants you to destroy whatever you find in this bunker. But that's not going to happen, because you're going to work for me. Not interested? Not interested? You have an interest in this, even if you're too stupid to know it. If you have an interest in breathing, you have an interest in this. Return to the fort and do whatever it takes to recover the chip. That would make for a welcome change. Then gather together the firepower or explosives or whatever else you need and improvise. I don't care if you have to kill every legionary at the fort. Get the job done. I'll expect to see some tangible progress before long, then. And why would you have done that? Success depends on forcing the NCR to rout from Hoover Dam. Hmm, does giving them a powerful ally in the battle make that more or less likely? Your assignment is unchanged. Destroy the Brotherhood of Steel. Please get it right this time. I'm the person who will pay you when you complete the delivery contract you signed. Now go get the chip. And whose idea was it to offer yourself up as a sacrificial lamb? Really, what did you expect? Are you going to keep giving him opportunities to kill you? It's becoming a hobby of his. By goodbye, I assume you mean that you can't talk right now because you need to go get the platinum chip off Benny's body. This is not the time for Q&A. Kindly hand over the chip. Hidden Valley is the place to keep working, then. Excellent idea. Highly resourceful, Benny. He would have made a fine agent had he stayed loyal. It's fortunate you came along to replace him. And ironic. That would be how he learned of the platinum chip in the first place. Not to mention where to intercept you on your way in. I suspected he'd found a way to access my encrypted databases, but, well, this explains it. They occupied Nellis Air Force Base a little over 50 years ago. One of my Securitrons got some video of their arrival and then exploded. Odds are they were vault dwellers. That's everything I know about them, really. Only if you come within a mile or so of them. Given their history of extreme isolationism, it's tempting to leave them be. But those howitzers of theirs... You can't let indeterminate variables rattle around in your equations like that. They have to be accounted for one way or another. This is not the time for Q&A. Kindly hand over the chip. What about him? He has every reason to go to the fort, so that's where you'll find him. All I ask is that you recover the chip. What happens to Benny is up to you. This is not the time for Q&A. Kindly hand over the chip. Yes, though at the time they called themselves the Slitherkin. A vicious clan, not that that's changed exactly. They were nomads, capable fighters, but their specialty was betrayal. They'd invite travelers into their yurts, drug them, murder, or enslave them. They took pride in their craft. I don't think Omertus saw other people as people at all. Everyone else was just prey. They reminded me of a certain criminal element Vegas used to attract. I told them some stories, gave them some clothes, and they ran with it. The chairman, as we know them now went by the unfortunate appellation of the Mojave Boot Riders. They were nomads, too. As for the White Gloves Society, I'm afraid I'm contractually obligated not to reveal their original name. Come back when you have something to report. His destination is hardly a mystery. It's a near certainty that he's making his way for Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. It's one of just two places on Earth that have the hardware necessary to read the platinum chip. The Lucky 38 is the other, of course. They're a terrorist group, basically. Militant, quasi-religious fanatics, obsessed with hoarding pre-war technology. Not all technology, mind you. You don't see them raiding hospitals to cart away auto docks or armfuls of prosthetic organs. No, they greatly prefer the sort of technology that puts people in hospitals. Or graves, rather, since hospitals went the way of the dodo. Because they're ridiculous. Because they gallivant around the Mojave, pretending to be knights of yore. Or did, until the NCR showed them that ideological purity and shiny power armor don't count for much when you're outnumbered 15 to 1. The world has no use for emotionally unstable techno-fetishists. Just wipe them out, will you? The salient issue is that they will go to war with me, if given the chance. 
There's just one reason why the NCR hasn't contrived some outrage to justify invading the Strip. Caesar's Legion. The final battle between those two armies is fast approaching. I can't afford to let either side win on their terms. I care because he is a known quantity. Not the man so much as the political context he inhabits. Kimball rose to prominence as the hero of the Mojave when he led a campaign of reprisals against tribals who dared to attack NCR citizens. Ordering the occupation of Hoover Dam was his first act of office. As water and electricity flowed to NCR cities, his popularity soared. Conversely, his failure to annex the Mojave these seven years and the immense costs of occupying a foreign land have eroded his popular support. Kimball's entire political career is inextricably bound up with the NCR's occupation of the Mojave. It's his war. If I compel the NCR to retreat, Kimball will be the sacrifice offered to the gods so decent NCR citizens can get on with their lives. In retrospect, the Mojave and Hoover Dam will seem like one man's misadventure. Kimball will be blamed, not me, not New Vegas. It was a place of splendor. As magnificent as today's strip may seem, it's but a shadow of the neon paradise that was Las Vegas. I grew up not far from here, and though I traveled the old world extensively, I never found another place like it. By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. Every projection I ran confirmed it. I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I care to, but I could save Vegas, and in the process, perhaps save mankind. I set to work immediately. I thought I had plenty of time to prepare. As it turned out, I was 20 hours short. On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted Las Vegas and its surrounding areas. My networked mainframes were able to predict and force transmit disarm code subsets to 59 warheads, neutralizing them before impact. Laser cannons mounted on the roof of the Lucky 38 destroyed another nine warheads. The rest got through, though none hit the city itself. A suboptimal performance, admittedly. If only the platinum chip had arrived a day sooner. The platinum chip was printed in Sunnyvale, California, on October 22, 2077, the day before the Great War. It was to have been delivered by courier the following afternoon, but by then... The world had ended. The chip contained vital software upgrades, but not just for my Securitrons. Every aspect of the missile defense grid would have been upgraded, too. Given that I had to make do with buggy software, the outcome could have been worse. I nearly died as it was. As I've told you before, you are contractually obligated to deliver the chip. Do your job. You have everything to gain. The Omertas are fanatically loyal to each other. Still, among any group, one can find the occasional degenerate. Gomorrah's receptionist happens to be one. For years, she passed on whispers of what was taking place at the casino in exchange for payment. A few months ago, she clammed up. Odds are she's scared. But I've had no way of approaching her. Start with her. I don't employ you to uncover evidence. This isn't a court of law. If the Omertas pose a threat to the physical or economic security of the Vegas Strip, I want you to do whatever it takes to neutralize that threat. Imagine two snarling dogs fighting over a curve of bone, perhaps the rib of their master long dead. It'll be a pitched battle, that's a certainty. Perhaps the greatest battle the Earth has seen since the human race nearly made itself extinct. With Caesar dead, it's hard to know what to expect. The legate Linnaeus is renowned as a brutal man, not a subtle tactician. Frontal assaults, wave attacks, these are the sort of tactics one would expect from such a man. The Legion will mount a ferocious and determined frontal assault from the east, that much is certain. Still, Caesar is a capable strategist. I'd be surprised if he hasn't found some way to infiltrate the dam or the NCR's rear areas. There will be time for questions and answers once you've delivered the chip. Until then, you'll have to tolerate your ignorance, just as I do. You're making me question your usefulness, you realize. I'll send a Securitron ahead to meet with the NCR at the security checkpoint and get things started. 
Once you get there, ask for Ranger Gram. I've used roaming Securitrons to feed him useful information in the past. If I tell him we've heard of a Legion assassination plot, I believe he'll let you investigate. I'm sure the assassins will wait for you to show up. Success depends on forethought, dispassionate calculation of probabilities, accounting for every stray variable. Your history of aggression towards the NCR has rendered you useless in this concern, unable to influence the outcome of events. Consequently, I have to wait and see what happens. It's grotesque. This is not an optional assignment. Kimball may be a grandstanding boar, but I want him protected. A crude question, crudely asked. I'll be happy to satisfy your rambunctious curiosity at a more appropriate moment. But now I'll repeat my question. What do you make of what you've seen? General Oliver's strategy, or tunnel vision, as I like to call it, has been to mass troops at Hoover Dam. He wants to outfight the Legion in a straightforward slugging match, and then, when they rout, pursue and destroy them in detail. A crushing, decisive victory of this sort would overshadow the tactical ingenuity of Chief Hanlon's defense four years ago, you see. A good deal should be obvious to you by now. I won't spoil the rest by talking out of turn. As I've said, your objective is to install an override module in the control room halfway across the dam. Are you ready to perform this task? Then handle them with dispatch. The Legion's assault is imminent. We've accomplished a great deal, you and I. One last task and our work is complete. I'll see you in the control room. You aren't going to ramble on about the virtues of life out in the wastes, are you? It's a desert, you do realize. A radioactive desert where humans subsist in a barbaric state. Difficult to glorify convincingly. They are, however, aptly named. For that's what you'd be out there, wasted. Here on the Strip, your talents can be put to use. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. They come to Vegas chasing penny-ante dreams of high living, to feel like they're big shots, like they're winners. You see that you and I are of a different stripe, don't you? We don't have to dream that we're important. We are. Oh, come now, don't play the fool. Vegas has fools enough, a superfluity of them. They're what makes it so profitable. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. Until then, it's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? You're ready to move forward, then? My offer far exceeds the original terms of your contract, which, I will remind you, already obligates you to deliver the chip. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps, after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. No. While brains demonstrated some use as organic processors in the robots produced by General Atomics International, they never retained personality once removed from the human body. Before the Great War of 2077, 
I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. I am Robert Edwin House, president, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. You have a contract to fulfill, a delivery to make. If you can't hold to a contract simply for the ethic of holding to a contract, you're worthless to me. My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Very well. Five times the bonus. Not one cap more. Is that an attempt at humor? I've always taken business negotiations very seriously. I advise you to do the same. So you've said before, you're making a habit of wasting my time. You signed a contract in good faith to deliver that chip. You're going to have a hard time on the strip if you are so incautious of making enemies. Please focus on the task at hand for both our sakes. No, you haven't. This is the second time you've promised to deliver the platinum chip. Even if you don't hold yourself to your promises, I will. If you find Caesar's Legion so frightening at this remove, imagine them rampaging across the Strip. We have a chance to see them destroyed, to see New Vegas become the harbinger of a new age. Not if you've been invited. You realize that you've made quite a splash here in New Vegas? I can predict with a high degree of confidence that you'll receive an official summons from Caesar, if you haven't already, that is. By the time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 times over. I founded and ran a vast economic empire. I spent two centuries searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention, my property, mine! Now be a good courier and deliver it! Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and ransom my property to me? Well enough. We can put the past behind us, I think. I must insist that you stay long enough for me to show you what the chip does. I promise you'll like what you see. Events of great import are about to unfold, with you taking a central role. To get started, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. Our terms were clear. Now that you have the chip in your possession, any attempt to renegotiate payment would be tantamount to blackmail. No, no, no. You'll want to hear this out. Why, thank you so much. You played that very poorly, you realize? You're fortunate that I have a certain tolerance for greed. I expect my business partners to be self-interested, but smartly so. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the platinum chip. <sighs> then this is a waste of time. I'm not surprised. The Legion has spies on the Strip. You needn't be afraid of me. It's my Securitrons that are going to kill you. Some things are more easily shown than told. Take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level, and you'll see what I mean. Don't worry, you'll like what you see. We have much to accomplish, you and I. I'm surprised you can still underestimate me after everything you've seen. I haven't shown my hand. I've shown one card. I've given my enemies a single provocative datum upon which to fixate. They have no idea what other cards I'm holding. It's a strong hand, believe me. I dealt it to myself. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. A great deal shall be happening. A cascade of events with you taking a central role. At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. You'll understand soon enough. Do you have any idea how prodigious is the opportunity you're casting aside here? You have? So you have the means to gain entry? I've resurrected Vegas, spirit intact. What I need now is the ability to enforce my rightful claim. 
Not just against Caesar's legion, by the way. In fact, the NCR is a more present and insidious threat. To enforce, one must have force. A position of strength. Years ago, when I detected NCR scouts roaming the Mojave, I could tell from their uniforms that these were no mere tribesmen. I knew it was only a matter of time before an army appeared to take control of the dam, and I knew my Securitrons wouldn't be enough to oppose them. And so I recruited the three families. Vegas belongs to me because I mustered enough strength to bring the NCR to the bargaining table. Indeed it was, and still is, but not without taking significant casualties. Would Kimball and Oliver have traded the lives of hundreds of soldiers for absolute control of Hoover Dam? Oh, yes. They weren't afraid of me. They were afraid of Caesar, that attacking me would leave them vulnerable to a legion offensive. And so they negotiated, not out of the kindness of their hearts, as they try to make it seem, because the calculus of power left no other choice. NCR forces were permitted to occupy Hoover Dam and establish a military base at McCarran Airport. Well, it used to be one. They recognized my sovereignty over the Vegas Strip and agreed to supply electricity and water once their engineers repaired the dam. Written into the treaty were provisions that the NCR do nothing to prevent its soldiers and civilians from visiting the Strip. That's how I harness the NCR to my endeavor. Their occupation has been the engine of my growing economy. That's because he ceased to be relevant when you recovered the platinum chip. Revenge doesn't interest me. Progress does. Sorry to deny you a moment of primate triumph, but you'll have to go elsewhere to sound your barbaric yawp. Why would I want to go to war against the NCR? They're my best customers. If their leaders weren't scheming to steal Vegas out from under me, I'd have no troubles with the NCR at all. Delivery of the platinum chip is non-negotiable. Hmm, how shall I put this? I invite you to think carefully about what you do next, standing alone before me, surrounded by my heavily armed Securitron guards. Benny was the leader of the chairman for seven years, ever since I recruited the tribe. I considered him something of a protege. Single-handedly destroying a Brotherhood of Steel bunker is quite an accomplishment. Platoons of NCR troops have died trying to do the same. This welcome news comes just in time, as events in the wider world are coming to a head. Fine. Give me the chip and I'll pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? The Legion has nothing left to wait for. Their assault on the dam could begin at any moment. Before that happens, I'll ask you to complete one other task. It may seem trivial, but that's far from the case. I'll be happy to satisfy your every curiosity once the platinum chip has been delivered. Very well. Five times your delivery bonus, not one cap more. Is that an attempt at humor? I've always taken business negotiations seriously. I advise you to do the same. Goodbye. I, Robert Edwin House, am deceased. Please approach a Securitron and take one of the printed obituaries. Yes, I know. It was detected immediately and deactivated, let's see, 39.735 seconds after you planted it. You thought I wouldn't notice? One of the followers of the apocalypse, I'm sure. They're curious about me. Good luck planting a surveillance device here in the Lucky 38 without my knowing about it. I prefer the term autocrat. I would rule as a chief executive. I would not answer to a board of directors or any other entity. Nothing to impede progress. If you want to see the fate of democracies, look out the windows. My judgment. I have no interest in abusing others, just as I have no interest in legislating or otherwise dictating what people do in their private time. Nor have I any interest in being worshipped as some kind of machine god messiah. I am impervious to such corrupting ambitions. But autocracy? Firm control in the hands of a technological and economic visionary? Yes, that Vegas shall have. Today, with the delivery of the platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitron's running the Mark II OS. 
Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. Here, take the platinum chip again. You will need it. Upon arrival at the fort, it's likely that you'll be searched and the chip taken from you. Don't worry, it will come back to you. I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future for you and for what remains of the human race. I'll give you time to think over the consequences of what you're saying. I urge you to reconsider. You'll have to return to Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. Simple. An NCR ranger named Graham is in charge of security arrangements for the visit. Present yourself to him. Let him know you want to help. Given your reputation, it's a near certainty that he'll accept your offer. Don't dally. The precise time of Kimball's visit is a closely guarded secret, but it will happen soon. Not surprising. Also, not acceptable. Go back to the bunker and destroy it. My directions have been clear from the start. I didn't ask you to tell me what they were planning. I asked you to kill them. This was a waste of time. Don't tell me you've fallen for the stories of noble paladins on crusade, preserving mankind's technology in a benighted age. Dross. In any case, this is an employer-employee relationship. I've given you an assignment, and the directions are clear. It's obvious that the Brotherhood has a base in Hidden Valley or thereabouts. Finding it won't be easy, but getting inside will be the real trick. Use extreme caution when approaching the base. Their firepower is considerable. Recently, one of my roaming Securitrons observed a man near the base studying the pattern of its artillery fire. Maybe he's learned something. You have? Every step of my plan has been precisely calculated and was, until now, well executed. Outside New Vegas, at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe known as the Boomers. They are, shall we say, aggressively reclusive. They have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If it's going to fire on Hoover Dam, I want it firing at my targets. If not, then I want to make sure that the Boomers don't sign similar treaties to fire their guns in support of the NCR or Caesar's Legion. The printout I've given you lists every lead I've been able to uncover. See what you can find out. Then look harder. We're talking about a coterie of bulging-eyed fanatics who think all pre-war technology belongs to them. They'll never accept my using an army of robots to defend New Vegas. While it's a fight I can win, I'd rather sidestep it altogether. It seems diplomacy is not your forte. Given the strength of your past performance, I think we can let this go without further comment. I'm pulling you on to a new assignment. Why is good help so impossible to find? Your impulsivity has jeopardized the success of this entire concern. Absolutely not. Caesar is of great use to me. I don't want you harming a hair on that man's head, assuming you could find one. Not so eager to take on a suicide mission, is that it? If you'd shown moderation in your dealings with the NCR, we wouldn't be in this position. Until you do this, consider yourself suspended, without pay. Whatever those reasons may be, you've jeopardized the success of this entire concern. In that case, I commend you for your initiative. What do you recommend for next steps? And you assisted them? That's what you mean to say, isn't it? I suppose you're right. When the Legion assaults Hoover Dam, my Securitrons will be waiting for the Amertus. They won't accomplish much. Oh no, not so quick. I still have work for you. The strain of defending Las Vegas from annihilation exceeded my power system's capacity. My primary reactor shut down. For years, I played a miser with my emergency power supply. I began to run out of reserves around the time I woke the first batch of Securitrons. Negotiating an allotment of power from Hoover Dam was crucial. That's what's powered the Strip for the past seven years. And how do you know this? 
I needed the operating software on the Platinum chip to bring it back online. And to start the reactor itself requires a tremendous jolt of current. Very attention-getting. The NCR has its hands full now, of course. I doubt they'll raise much of a fuss. That's rather obvious, isn't it? Exactly how many civilians did you want to die in that crossfire? Still, you raise a fair point. My Securitrons can handle this. When the Legion attacks Hoover Dam, I'll be waiting for the Omertas. You're absolutely right. You must have had run-ins with them, as have I. Then the hero of the Mojave would become the martyr of Hoover Dam. And when, subsequently, I force the NCR to retreat, they lick their wounds and dream of righteous vengeance against New Vegas. Hello, embargo. Farewell, tourist economy. I've calculated and recalculated these probabilities. Kimball must live. I can't use you. Had you shown moderation in your dealings with the NCR, we'd be in a different position. Up to this point, your efforts yielded near-perfect results. But now I'm forced to fumble in the dark, to gamble. Light must be brought to this darkness. From time to time, the NCR has assaulted Brotherhood bunkers. In four of the six incidents I know of, the bunkers self-destructed. I surmise it's standard practice for the Brotherhood to install a self-destruct system. It's consistent with their uncompromising nature. You might use that against them, or kill them another way. It's up to you. Return when it's done. You'll have to be more specific. An opinion you expressed with supreme subtlety and finesse. Moving on. Software glitches set off a cascade of system crashes. I had to take the Lucky 38's reactor offline, lest it melt down. For nearly five years, I battled power outages and more system crashes until I finally managed to reboot my data core with an older version of the OS. I spent the next few decades in a veritable coma. But I survived, obviously, and eventually thrived. Step closer to the demonstration area, if you would. If this statement is being broadcast, I am deceased. Please approach a Securitron and take one of the printed obituaries. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. Oh, by all means, yes. That's refreshing. New Vegas is more than a city. It's the remedy to mankind's derailment. The city's economy is a blast furnace in which can be forged the steel of a new rail line running straight to a new horizon. What is the NCR? A society of people desperate to experience comfort, ease, luxury. A society of customers. With all that money pouring in? Give me twenty years and I'll reignite the high technology development sectors. Fifty years and I'll have people in orbit. One hundred years and my colony ships will be heading for the stars to search for planets unpolluted by the wrath and folly of a bygone generation. Ah, <sighs> disappointing in the extreme. You can't. But the chip can. The hatch will recognize the platinum chip and open sesame. Well done. They won't be causing any trouble then. Well done. The boomer's firepower may prove an advantage when the battle for Hoover Dam comes around. Indeed. Moving on. You laid the foundation for my victory, so fine. I'll permit some latitude in how you schedule your work. You're welcome. Your incompetence has jeopardized the success of this entire concern. There's more than one way to skin a cat, as the saying goes. Or went, that is, cats being extinct. I don't promote political assassination as a first option, but it has a long and storied history. I'll consider the boomers neutralized. Don't attack unless there are clear signs that Kimball's visit is imminent. Cause enough chaos to cancel the visit, no more. Then return to me. You could have succeeded. I much prefer working with robots. There's a job that needs doing here, and I'm assigning it to you. Marvelous work ethic. Bravo. With this accomplished, all preparations will have been made. The battle for Hoover Dam will be upon us before long. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto repair systems. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. 
Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. Those snakes. For them. You sad, misguided whore. No. Ruined everything. Exposed germs. A year of life, if at most. What of it? I enjoy them. There's something about a little diorama set inside a glass dome that I find pleasing. If you run across any out in the wastes, turn them in to Jane. She'll compensate you. By my calculations, his death will affect the shape of the battle for Hoover Dam minimally, if at all. The Legion's aggression will outlive Caesar. Indeed, they'll try to take the dam as a tribute to his memory. Given a year, they'd have him deified. But by then, the Legion will be breaking down, riven by internal conflicts, a monster consuming itself. It's irrelevant. In the short term, the Legion is still monster enough that defeating it will make me look powerful indeed. What do you think you're going to do? Fight your way up to the penthouse and assassinate me? You came here to finish what you think you started? This is nothing compared to what's waiting for you up in the penthouse. Vegas will still rise again. Your betrayal won't defeat me. The Lucky 38 will be your grave. I'll finish what Benny couldn't get right. Think you're doing well to have made it this far? You'll need a disguise then. Or overwhelming firepower. Whatever works. Sorry for the inconvenience, but it can't be helped. This is too important. Well enough. Be on your way. After all that we've accomplished... Your accident has jeopardized the success of this entire concern. I offer many benefits, but vacation time isn't one of them. Arrogance was their undoing. There might be a lesson in that. But moving on, there's nothing to think about. You have a job to do, so do it. This is no time to be droll. Since 2278, I've lost five roaming Securitrons near Hidden Valley. I didn't receive any clear video of the incident, but telemetry from the units destroyed indicates they were attacked with energy weapons. Can't put the genie back in the bottle, is that it? Maybe you should have thought of that before you conspired to destroy my property. That said, I'd know nothing of the Omerta's plot if you'd kept it secret. Perhaps I owe you my gratitude after all. The information you provided will suffice. When the battle for Hoover Dam comes, I'll make sure my Securitrons are waiting for the Omertas. They knew you were coming? They were better prepared than I anticipated then. I won't underestimate them again. Before that happens, I'd ask you to complete one final task. It may seem trivial, but that's far from the case. Whatever your reasons, you've jeopardized the success of this entire concern. I expect that if Benny doesn't have the chip, Caesar will make sure you get it. More on that later. Be off. No cause for alarm. You'll have an escort of Securitrons to help you fight your way onto the dam. Come back when your work at the substation is done. I see. So where does that put us? This is not a good time to be dependent on energy from Hoover Dam. When the Legion attacks, the NCR may cut power altogether. And I'll be needing a good deal more power than the NCR has allotted to the Strip. Broadcasting encrypted VMQ-boosted command signals to hundreds of Securitrons eats up more power than you might expect. Indeed you will. Just bear in mind that's not the reason you're there. Your objective is to reach a control room halfway across the dam and install an override module similar to the one you used at the substation. You may remember how the bunker at the fort was rather dimly lit. Well, just like the Lucky 38, it needs a big jolt of electricity to power up. You've already uploaded the new operating system to the Securitrons. All they need is power, and they'll be in fighting trim. The override will enable me to control the entire dam's power output. Indeed they do. An army that'll be too distracted with killing legionaries to notice the real reason you're there. Precisely. You'll have no trouble joining the battle on their side, and they'll be too distracted to notice why you're really there. Hello. Come over and introduce yourself. Come now. Don't keep me waiting. I invited you here so we could talk, not so you can nose around. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. 
The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core deflects small arms and shrapnel easily enough. Its X-25 Gatling laser, produced to spec by Glastinghouse Inc., is deadly against soft targets at medium range. And for close-range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. All of this you probably already knew. What you did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer ranges. And a rapid-fire G28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close-range engagements. Your vanity project doomed to fail. May there be a hell for you. A Tartarus, bleak, unending. No, don't disable Cerebral. I'd rather be killed. Just kill me. If personal gain, what you sought, should have done as asked. Slavery, the future of mankind. What have you done, fool, to let personalities derail future of mankind? Stupid. Cannibalism was strictly forbidden in their contract. If some of them broke that stricture, they deserved whatever punishment you dealt them. No, I was not aware of this. Is it really so hard not to engage in cannibalism? My goodness, it's a violation of their contract. I authorize you to deal with them in any way you see fit. Yes, of course. But refraining from those dietary practices is a primary requirement of their contract. They've been good to their word. Put together one hell of a resort hotel, too. From what I hear, I'd want to eat at the Gourmand every night, if I were ambulatory. Hold on. Now hold on. Just a moment. Turn around and leave, and I'll... I won't attack you any further. Just stay away from the console. It doesn't do anything. You've come back to kill me this time, I assume. Ironic how this turned out. The thousands of hours I spent calculating odds, running projections... Planning for every contingency, only to be done in by a mail carrier with a grandiosity complex. Get it over with, will you? <sighs> Hoover Dam, of course. A hydroelectric dam? The NCR had it up and running at 50% capacity within a year of occupying the dam. By treaty, New Vegas receives 5% of its output. More than enough. I recommend following the Securitron's instructions. Its programming is strict, and I don't have time to change it. You dared come here after what you did? Your chances of breaking through my defenses, they're minimal at best. Why are you doing this? I would have made you wealthy. You could have helped change the world. You're actually going to do this all over again? Damn it, will you die already? Aggressive acts on the casino premises will be met with lethal force. Vacate the premises immediately. Vacate the premises immediately. The casino is off limits for 24 hours. Vacate the premises immediately. All Securitrons are at a state of high alert. What else did you want to discuss? What else did you want to know? Stop wasting time. Go upload the data on the Platinum chip to the facility's primary computer. As you know, the Platinum chip upgrades my Securitron's operating software. Well... There's an army of them here. The Securitrons policing the Strip are a fraction of the total number manufactured. The rest I stored here. The Platinum chip is a data storage device. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. 
That means I can't deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. Do you have the slightest idea of what you've done? Of what you've destroyed? You've doomed Vegas to be ruled by corrupt bureaucrats or fanatical savages. Single-handedly, you brought mankind's best hopes of forward progress crashing down. No punishment would be too severe. Your work here is done. Return to the Lucky 38 so we can discuss next steps. You have a very bright future ahead of you. Thanks to your actions today, so does the rest of mankind. I do wish you'd come and met with me at the Lucky 38 when you first arrived on the Strip. Or after Benny fled, even. I do wish you'd come and met with me at the Lucky 38 when you first arrived on the Strip. Or after you killed Benny, even. Quite an honor you spurned, my invite. You would be the first person to set foot inside the Lucky 38 in over 200 years. <sighs> but you still wound up here, right where I wanted you. I knew I could rely on Caesar to return the platinum chip to you. Well, you're here ahead of schedule. I suppose it's just as well. This is where I wanted you to end up after all. I knew I could rely on Caesar to give you back the platinum chip. I see you reached your destination safely. Shall we get to work? Before we go any further, where is the platinum chip? So, we meet in person, finally, so to speak. You did well at the fort. Kudos. Events have transpired in a... less than optimal fashion. Benny has fled the strip and the platinum chip has not been recovered. So, Benny has been handled and you've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. There will be no repeat of the trouble we had last time, I trust. I'm optimistic that this conversation will go more smoothly. Have you come to your senses? It's not too late to upload the Platinum Chip's data to the primary computer. Make your way to Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. Something very interesting awaits you. Benny is dead, and yet you don't appear to be carrying the Platinum Chip. I don't suppose you forgot to search his body. The point of my inviting you to visit me here at the Lucky 38 before stomping into the tops on your own was to help you prepare, tactically. Now, because of your carelessness, Benny has fled the Strip, taking with him the Platinum Chip. I need you to make sure that no harm comes to President Kimball. It's fortunate that you've maintained good relations with the NCR. Unfortunately, I can't use you to protect Kimball. The NCR won't let you come within a thousand feet of the President. Odds are that Caesar will launch his assault on the dam after Kimball's visit is concluded, one way or the other. So be on guard. Will you ensure that President Kimball survives his visit to Hoover Dam? I'd rather you just dealt with the boomers, but all right. I suppose the Omertas can wait a few minutes. A few questions, and then you'll handle the Brotherhood, I hope. Questions like... Will President Kimball survive his visit to Hoover Dam, even now, on the brink of battle? As I was saying, I need you to enlist or neutralize the boomers at Nellis Air Force Base. As I said before, I need you to investigate the Omertas to see what they're up to. As I've said, I need you to locate and destroy the Brotherhood of Steel. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Can I look forward to a more substantial conversation this time? What did you wish to know? Well, this meeting has been a long time in coming. Longer still since you took time to charge into the tops before coming to see me. Before we get down to details, I must ask, now that you've arrived at your destination, what do you make of what you see? What did you want to discuss? Have you considered the terms of my offer? There's little else for us to discuss until you have. What is the purpose of this delay? I take it you've come to deliver the platinum chip? Have you come to your senses, or will there be a repeat of the last incident? Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious, so very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. 
That's where the chip was printed, on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. Come now, come now. Get thee to the elevator. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securatron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the Strip. To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. You've been a busy courier, haven't you? You take your obligation to deliver a package very seriously, an ethic for which I am grateful. I will admit, when you ignored my invitation, I predicted negative outcomes. But you have a way of exceeding expectations, don't you? Well, enough. Let's have the chip, then. We'll talk again once you've concluded your work in the bunker at Fortification Hill. What do you have to report about the Omertas? Any progress with the Boomers? Have you destroyed the Brotherhood of Steel? If not for you, President Kimball would be dead. So you needn't feel guilty when the NCR's route from Hoover Dam demolishes his political career. Kimball is dead. What a mess you've made. Until the Lucky 38's reactor has been restarted, we have nothing to discuss. The Legion's assault could begin at any moment. Last I knew, President Kimball wasn't scheduled to visit the Lucky 38. Be on your way to Hoover Dam, will you? Why in the world did you attack President Kimball? The foundation is laid. My Securitrons on the Strip are upgraded, and those at the fort ready for action. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. The next step is to add the Boomers' considerable firepower to my growing arsenal, or at the very least, ensure their neutrality. Your next assignment won't take you far. It concerns the Omertas and their den of vice, Gomorrah. As the decisive encounter between the bull and the bear looms close, my concerns about the Omertas have grown. I've never expected loyalty, mind you. A reliably underhanded tribe is just as constant to deal with as one that always runs true. But that's just it. Lately, the Omertas' cooperative silence has been deafening. Not a single complaint. They're up to something. Your next assignment would have been to investigate the Omertas. But you managed to foil their scheme before I could put you to the task. I should compensate you as though it were an official assignment, however. Wouldn't want to disincentivize your proactivity. Your next assignment is to locate and destroy remnants of the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. The NCR nearly did the job at Helios 1 a few years ago, but there seem to have been survivors, unfortunately. Given the Brotherhood's fanatical views on technology, they can be counted on to oppose my regime. Please, put them out of my misery. Aaron Kimball, the president of the new California Republic, is going to visit Hoover Dam to boost morale. Apparently, he hasn't considered the effect on the troops' morale of seeing their beloved leader get his brains blown out by a Legion sniper. Have you found the courage to do what's necessary? To the elevator, if you please. Stop dragging your feet. Why have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. I have nothing to say to you. Benny must be pursued and the platinum chip recovered. I'd hoped to have you investigate the Omertas, but after the trouble you caused at Gomorrah, they won't let you in the front door. <sighs> I'll see if I can make some progress with informants. You're useless in this matter. Between the Strip and Helios 1 lies the El Dorado Electrical Substation. Humble as it appears, the substation has immense strategic value, for it's there that you'll jumpstart the Lucky 38's dormant reactor. Gain access to the substation's control room and install this override module. Just so you know, there are NCR troops guarding the station. As you can see, Vegas is humming along. I've tested my C3I broadcasting arrays. Everything is in order. And just in time, as it turns out, the forces of Caesar's Legion are on the march 
Establishing a staging area east of the dam. Their assault could begin at any moment. So that's where you'll be heading, if you're ready. Hoover Dam. Let's get on with it, shall we? Hmm? Ah, General Oliver. I expected you would survive. I see you've met my star employee. A real performer, obviously. And a lot more reliable than the other candidate I considered for the position. I'd pay very close attention to what she has to say, as well as any official papers she hands over for your perusal. I'd pay very close attention to what he has to say, as well as any official papers he hands over for your perusal. I knew you'd make it. Resourceful as always. The override module is functioning properly. I'm rerouting power to the Securitron vault at the fort as we speak. When you return topside, I think you'll see that my Securitron army is a little more than the Legion was prepared to handle. Oh, and before you go, grab that printout spooling from the console here. Those papers set the terms for the NCR's unconditional surrender. I just need you to head over to the East Power Plant and manually activate the switch. I thought you might enjoy the honor of presenting them to the NCR's commanding officer once the Legion has been defeated. Cheers.